Hello guys, welcome back. I just want to give you a quick update on my Mississippi by Okra. I have finished the bottom. I have a nice coat of sealer on there, one coat of varnish. Uh, the reason that I went ahead and did that on this one is because this is very brittle. Uh, this one millimeter sapley strips. And so you're going to want to get a coat on those as quickly as possible to get that sealed and protected. Um, I have the rudders on, the keel, and I've started the planking on the top. So one of the tricks I want to tell you guys about this uh, one millimeter planking, like I said, it's very brittle. So what I usually do is I'll put a very thin bead. You can barely see it. The little, the least amount possible is what you want, or it'll just slip and slide and it won't glue properly. So then once I'm done with the top, I'm going to actually take my glue here and I glue around the edge here just like that and make sure I get a good seal on here before I take my knife and start cutting it around to form. Um, that's going to be very important to keep these from breaking off and chipping when you're cutting these. It's, it's kind of very tricky stuff to work with it can be rather annoying i did paint a light brown on the bottom here um and of course i'm cutting out my slots for the cabins before i put on the second uh deck um but other than that i'm pretty happy with how it's coming out you can see uh, my patch job came out really nice it's just a beautiful hole that we've got here um, I have one coat of sealer and I'm going to show you what kind of sealer I'm using um, I'm using this Verithane triple X it's a triple layer very thick sealer um, now one of the things about this sealer is it's really good on wood that doesn't have a high absorbency rate so one coat will do great if you're doing like a box, like this wood box that I built over here, uh, same thing, one coat is great. But if you're doing wood that's more porous and absorbent, I probably wouldn't go with that uh, sealer. I would probably stick with the fast drying polyurethane. It's more of an oil base, a thicker oil base um, for a lot of the woods that we're going to be using. Um, but for the Sapoli strips, it's, it's perfect. And so I'm very happy with how that came out. I will be putting a second coat of, C, of uh, um, varnish, the marine varnish, on this again. But not until I'm completely done with all of this. And then I'll go ahead and put a second coat and do all of it. So I'm really happy with how that's coming out. Um, thanks for stopping by. Um, one thing I want to point out is my, I'd like to talk a little bit about my next project. You might be able to see over here. I've got the Montanes over here, honey. 